today to my magic realism kitchen where we are gonna take a lot of these fresh ingredients and create a perfect turkey that will not dry out and you won't have to check while it's baking. Okay, so now we are going to prepare our magical dressing for the turkey that is going to allow us to bake the turkey the whole time without ever taking a look at the oven. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pick which herbs we're going to make. And I have some that are already cut up, which are the cilantro and the green onion and the parsley, a lot of vitamin C in the parsley, so I chose it this time. And we are gonna add about a tablespoonful more of garlic paste. It's in another video you can watch. And a couple of teaspoons of salt. This is a delicious salt. And we're gonna add some pepper because that's a lot of turkey. And a whole strip of peppercorns, which is about an, a tablespoon of peppercorns, and maybe it would be like a teaspoon and a half of dried pepper. We are going to process all this, mix it into some Greek yogurt, and wait a minute until you see the surprise of what we are going to do. So let's process this just a minute. Okay, so now we are ready and our herb mixture is done. The smell is out of this world and we are only going to add the yogurt into this green and delicious herb. You could prepare this with any of your favorite herbs if you like some spices, sometimes I add like oriental spices if I want to do a turkey that's for a different occasion. And I prepare lots of turkey every time I have a lot of people because it's so quick to prepare. And this 14 and a half pound turkey is going to feed 15 people. So it's great. It's going to be there in the oven while I fix the house and I can serve it at any temperature. I can serve it about half an hour out of the oven or I it's really, really easy to make and to have for people that are invited to dinner. A large number of guests or a smaller one and then you keep leftovers to prepare sandwiches and to prepare salads and to prepare many, many more delicious dishes. Okay, here we have this mixture. And now what we are going to do is we are going to detach the skin of the turkey from the skin, from the, from the turkey. We detach the skin with our hands. My hands are a little small, but I go to this side to detach the complete breast. The other way, moist breast every time you cook this recipe. So now, if by any chance this rips out, don't worry, you just put a toothpick on each side, then take it out, and by the time it's baked, everything is going to be completely cooked. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to take some of this mixture and place it in another cup so that I don't put my dirty hand into any extra mixture that I have left over and that I can use for the sauce. So this is there and I'll put my hand, well actually you can do this. Put it in here and spread it out really simply. I usually put my hand on it. Okay, so let's look inside of the turkey. Look, all of the leg and the breasts are seasoned and like I told you do not worry if by any chance the other 
part of the of the skin any other part of the skin gets ripped because we are going to put a couple of pins on it and then get it together there's one thing I forgot we are going to break the wings and place them in the bottom that way we are not going to need any twine today we'll finish seasoning everything with a little bit I have here so our turkey is ready to be refrigerated overnight and we can still put a couple of the toothpicks onto the skin she will not be able to see once we take them out after they're baked and I am going to tie some twine around the legs because I find they are too open and our turkey might not look as nice because we're not going to stuff it our stuffing is going to be separate under cold air or in the fridge uncovered and then put the plastic wrap on it but after doing this I just realized that we can put a couple of toothpicks over it and in a plastic bag to cover our turkey and that way it won't we do it like softly it won't touch the turkey and nothing's gonna happen to our dressing today we are transporting our turkey that's gonna be baked into a big just regular um, basket that you might have at home and it's a great idea in case you want to take it after it's baked or before it's baked we're gonna put both of them here anywhere you want to go for Thanksgiving here we go Square pirates coming right out of our basket, and it's really easy to carry it there. If anything has to fall down, it will fall into the plastic cover. Now we're going to add some salt to the top right before baking it. This time, And we've seasoned this chicken earlier, you saw, because we left it the whole night in the refrigerator so that all of the meat has this amazing flavor. And now it's going to go into the oven and we're going to put the wine inside it so that it doesn't go all the way into the oven everywhere. Now we're going to pour the wine into the pan and we'll have no problem of the wine falling all over and dripping as we carry the turkey. Let's close the turkey and it's going to bake. This is a convection oven in 250 for 4 hours. Here we have our beautifully roasted turkey. Look at this color. It is perfect all around beautiful we're gonna cover it with foil on the table for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna cut it you can leave it for a small turkey like this about 20 minutes until whenever you want to serve or more if it's like a 20 or 25 pounder turkey leave it at least 30 to 40 minutes so that all of the juices set in and have a juicier turkey. So here we go. Now we're gonna transfer our turkey. I had to put that part of the wing separate because it is so so tender that it was falling apart. And I am going to separate the fat from the liquid here and we're gonna prepare a sauce in just a minute. But in the meantime, we are gonna fill our turkey with this delicious mushroom filling we made and 
it's not it's a great idea actually to make your filling separately first because you can go ahead and start baking just when you wake up in the morning and then you can serve it as soon as it's done because your filling is going to be ready in the while your bird cooks you're going to have everything cooking at the same time the bird is in the oven and since you don't have to check your turkey with my recipe you can do all of your other cooking on that day our delicious and super moist turkey breast. Mm. Full of flavor. Mm. It's a really, really flavorful turkey. 